EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Stanford's been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Washington, the place to be for an exciting college football game. And now let's head down to the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Washington State tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Oh, what a hit. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Taken down at the 39. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Now he's scrambling. Quick throw. And they make the stop at the 28. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Looking for his man, incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for the game, seven yards. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. made around the 10 yard line and that'll give him another first down excellent job there brad of running the football that was good execution by this offense gives it up the gut good outside run there benson picks up about four yards on the play that brings him second and goal it's second and goal. Ball on the six-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. receiver for the score. You know, the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and reset. Let's take a look at some action from Waco. And for West Virginia, they've now moved out in front. The Mountaineers have the edge 
and other action. Get you up to date on the action in Denton. And for North Texas, they've now come up short five straight times. Texas State gets the win, 28-7. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Easily. Get set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the three. Brought down at the 31-yard line. The Cougars right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. Slings it. Brought down at the 21-yard line. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. He's out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Wesley picks him up about three yards with a catch. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's tackled at the eight. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. That's a great tackle at the one yard line. around the four-yard line. Holbert's the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. So it's third down, but the offense is only four yards away from evening this game up. Down he goes at the four. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That brings us fourth and goal. He gets it up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They move the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receiver. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense. And right now, it's really paying off. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on their own 28. Stanford is up four. He's on the run. And they push him out at the 42-yard line. Gain of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. the 42 from their own 42 yard line second down throws it out and it falls incomplete Johnson's intended to see third down Bring him down at about 
the 31. The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Yeah, the big fella's pretty athletic for a tight end. And as a quarterback, it's always nice to have a big target like this to go to. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31. run up the middle both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter low scoring and close right now Stanford's up by four back to the action here in the second quarter it's been a good one and a tight one at this point This is the eighth play of this drive. Coming to you, coming to you. Stanford holds a four-point lead. <laughs> and he's tackled at the 12. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. From the 12-yard line, it's first down. And he hits him hard at the 13-yard line. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. And this is the 10th play of the drive. And he's taken down at the 4-yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. It's up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. King takes it at the 8, and down he goes at the 26. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. On the throw, incomplete pass. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. He lets it fly across midfield, and he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. Quick pass, and he is drilled at the 46-yard line. That's good for him. He's taken down at about the 37 yard line.
about the 35. Call it a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Receivers got the first down, and they make the stop around the 22-yard line. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. This is the ninth play of this drive. Tackle made right around the four-yard line. Jones gains about four yards there. Washington State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Just inside the five. Second down. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Brought down just outside the goal line. That makes it dirty. He gets rid of this one. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Baylor in action over in Waco. Let's take a look at this one again. Here's a hotly contested battle. West Virginia with the lead, 13-10. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Snyder ready to kick. From his own goal line. Tackle at the 33 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Stanford is up by four. Quick throw. And this one falls incomplete. The pass is incomplete. Stewart was the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 33. Got a man in and out of his hands. Stewart the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. He's in trouble. Has time. Throws it deep. In the air. It's intercepted. He's tackled. That's the 41. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Chucks it downfield. He zips it out to the left, and he can't hang on to it. Jones is intended to see That brings up second and goal. It 
It's second and goal. Seven yards for the touchdown. Pitch out, got the corner. Tackle around the four yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense caught end zone for the touchdown. He hit the big tight end for six on that one. As a quarterback, you like the tight end inside the 10-yard line because they have a knack for finding the opening, and then you can just drill it in there. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a five-play, 59-yard drive. And the result, seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. The score now, 13-10. Snyder is lined up to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seventh. Brought down at the 35-yard line. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He's in trouble. Missed tackle, and that one's incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receivers wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Tackle for a loss. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. He zips it. Well, the defense did tall there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Aaron and out long. Tipped away. We've played a half. Washington State leads 13-10. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. King fields it at the three. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Washington State has a three-point lead. Gets it out quickly. Down he goes, right around the 30. Punter on the tackle at the 30-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Turn it now. Easy, easy, easy. 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 Number 84, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and seven. Third down and seven. Ball on the 30-yard line. Under heavy pressure. Just throws this one away. Bass is the punter. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tries to get around the corner. 
Nice run there. Benson gets six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. McNeil makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. First down. Two times, two times. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. From the 33-yard line, second down. Gets out to around the 15. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Jumbo set. Makes it to the 12 yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 12. And he's tackled at the 13. play here by the defense. That makes us a little bit so it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Stanford can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks up and it splits the uprights. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Tigers come into the game ranked 10th in the nation. And for UAB, they've now dropped three in a row. The Tigers take it by three. In other games, what is happening in Waco? And for Baylor, their winning streak reaches five. The Bears get the W, 27-13. All right, thanks, Reese. Stand Easily, as his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. Tackle made at the 21. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. And a quick throw, and he's taken down around the 28-yard line. wide. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. They're about four yards away here on third down. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Smith was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Stewart is the deep man awaiting the return. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Feeds it to the back. 
tackle made at the 42. That's a good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They come out in a goal line set. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. They get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. for the third quarter and at the end of three the scoreboard dead even back to the action here tight ball game in the fourth quarter he's at the 20 and they make the stop at the 17-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 17. And he is drilled at the two. Number 22 with the technical at the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. the PAT. So that's a seven play, 51 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. So the score now, 2013. Fielded at the nine. And he's taken down at the 26. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Gets it. He's in space. Brought down at the 41-yard line. hit and taken down. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Jackson is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. 
from the 16 yard line. Second down. They give to the tailback. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll bring up third and six. Field. He's tackled at the three yard line. They come out in a five wide set. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Touchdown, Cougars. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Tyler from the six. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 36 yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Hand off inside. Tackle right around the 34. From their own 34-yard line. It's second down. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Game of 16 yards. First down. Well, a man down, and the trainers on their way out to have a look. Second down and six. Ball on the 46. Throws a bullet. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Quick strike, and he drops it. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. That'll make it fourth and six. Chavez, the return man. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. He's on the run. And he's finally shoved out at the 27-yard line. It's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Just under two minutes in the game. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he hits him hard at the 20-yard line. 
to James James Seven. Seven. That'll bring up second and three. Roger, Roger! Hey, check, check back the ladder, check back the ladder. We ain't giving them nothing. Quick out to his receiver. Smith picks up around five yards with that catch. And still, this gunslinger hasn't missed a receiver yet on this drive. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. Here he goes. He makes his way out to about the six. Penalty markers down, they took too much time. And he converts the extra point. If they field this kick, they'll have to bring it all the way back for a touchdown, or this one's over. Tyler from the two. And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. Marks' performance today, Kirk, it was just fun for you and I to be part of it, really. Yeah, really, just a campus legend. A guy that went out there and, and showed why he's one of the most dominant players in the country. And he did not disappoint anybody, including his teammates today. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.